This video is going to show how to perform a part search in ORCAD PSPICE Designer. Open ORCAD PSPICE Designer. Select File, New, Project from the menu. Enter Buck Converter as the name and browse the desired location to save the project. Make sure Enable PSPICE Simulation is checked and click OK. Select Create a Blank Project and click OK. Select Place, PSPICE Component, Search from the menu. Under the Categories tab, open PSPICE, Source, Independent Sources, Voltage Source. Select VDC. Double-click to attach the part to the cursor. Click in the schematic canvas to place the part. Right-click and select End Mode, or press Escape on the keyboard. Double-click the component value to edit properties. Change the value to 12 volts DC and click OK. Back in the PSPICE part search window, scroll up under the Categories tab and select Favorites. This will open a list of commonly used ideal components. Double-click L to place an inductor. Click to place in the schematic. Double-click C from the list to place a capacitor and click to place in the schematic. Use R on the keyboard to rotate the component as needed. Right-click and select End Mode. Double-click on the value of the inductor. Change the value to 100 microhenries and click OK. Double-click on the value of the capacitor, change the value to 100 microfarads, and click OK. In the PSPICE part search, enter MUR150 into the search bar and press Enter on the keyboard. Double-click the part. Click to place in the schematic. Right-click and select End Mode. Enter 8 amp 500 volt MOSFET into the search bar to search for a description. Press Enter. Scroll down and double-click the part with the name IRF840. Click to place in the schematic. Right-click and select End Mode. Select Place, PSPICE Component, PSPICE Ground from the menu. Click to place the grounds. Right-click and select End Mode. Select Place, PSPICE Component, Resistor from the menu. Place a load resistor at the output of the buck converter and another resistor at the gate of the MOSFET. Right-click and select End Mode. Double-click the component value to edit. Set the value of the load resistor to 10 ohms and click OK. Set the value of the gate resistor to 33 ohms and click OK. Close out of the PSPICE part search window. Select Place, Wire from the menu, the wire button on the toolbar, or press W on the keyboard. Click to wire the schematic. When finished, Press Escape on the keyboard. Select Place, PSPICE Component, Modeling Application from the menu. Choose Sources, Independent Sources. This will open the Independent Sources window. Choose Square under the Pulse tab and set the parameters for the pulse. Select Place. Click to place the source. Select Place, Wire from the menu and click to wire the source. Press Escape on the keyboard when finished. Select PSPICE New Simulation Profile from the menu. Name the simulation Buck Converter Trans and click Create. Set the run to time to 1 millisecond. Leave all other settings as the defaults and click OK. Select the Voltage Level Marker button from the toolbar. Place a probe at the input of the Buck Converter and another at the output. Right click and select End Mode. Select PSPICE Run from the menu or the Run button on the toolbar. View the simulation results.